Hey folks, this is Waylon. I'm just going to uh, put some info in the comments so you know what I'm talking about. And uh, this video is falling in line with the hashtag Me Too movement, which is, as uh, someone was saying in the New York Times, which uh, started this whole story with Harvey Weinstein, uh, 10 years of research. Um, to get enough facts to go forward with this. Um, this is more than a movement, it's an earthquake. And it's an earthquake I think we all welcome. So I wanna talk about two things. One, I wanna talk about what I just put in the comments. And uh, I hope you all read it, because it's horrifying. And uh, I think I'm gonna read a little bit of it to you, because I'm so furious and relieved simultaneously to read it. So the, the uh, I put it in the comments, but the headline is breaking in the LA Times, Russell Simmons allegedly assaulted 17 year old model while Brett Ratner watched. I'll just read you a couple highlights. Um, quickly, Simmons began uh, making aggressive sexual advances, yanking off her clothes, the model said. Um, I looked over at Brett and said, help me and I'll never forget the look on his face. She recalled in that moment, the realization fell, me, fell on me that they were in it together. Kaligi said that Simmons was then about twice her age and he's still uh, possibly allegedly up to the same kind of thing these days. Uh, tried to force her to have in-course, intercourse. I fought it wildly. He, he eventually relented and coerced her to perform oral sex. Um, this stuff is infuriating. And um, I, I do hope, and I think all of us, you hope that this represents a cultural shift. It's Sunday morning. I'm sitting down to read the Sunday New York Times and, uh, you know, thinking I'm going to read, uh, eat toast and then go out with some buddies, uh, try to wake up, um, go out with my dog. And instead, I'm reading about uh, the worst thing on the planet, which is, uh, to my mind, rape. It's as bad as torture. It's taking one of the most beautiful things, which is love, intimacy, sex, connection, uh, fun, um, vulnerability, and making it into one of the worst things. Um, so all of you know all of this at this point, but I want to say I interviewed Russell Simmons personally. You can put that video. I can find it. <sighs> uh, or someone can find it, but I'll just find it. Normally, I'm not doing my own searching while on the video, so I apologize. But it was a horrifying experience, and I'm a guy. Um, there's the video, it's in the comments. Um, the way he related to the people around him and the women and uh, my friend who he was with, who he apparently French kissed, even though she's married when I was gone for like five minutes, which is not cool. And you could tell his whole thing was to use his fame and his money to get whatever he wanted. So please read the story with Brett Ratner. Um, it's all alleged, and this is important in journalism. None of this is proven yet. So um, that's what I look forward to with Weinstein and with Russell and with others is not in any sort of mob mentality, but finding facts. And that's why I wanna cre credit the New York Times and the New Yorker for coming out with these reports on Harvey Weinstein, starting this avalanche of revelations and allegations. And the second point, which a lot of women have already made, and really uh, men can't and shouldn't really be uh, the voice of this, but we don't want to, um, sexual assault and sexual harassment is incredibly serious stuff. And what Al Franken did um, or didn't do, uh, but what seems clear and he has admitted to and apologized about and, and the woman he did it to, uh, has accepted his apology, that is awful and uh, should not be defended because of partisanship. Um, but it is not in the same category as what uh, allegedly our president has done or Roy Moore has done. Um, so an awful, awful joke at the expense of someone um, uh, groping over this uh, military outfit and um, maybe forcing a French kiss, that is incredibly unacceptable and something I would personally, uh, thankfully never do, having been raised by a single mom, where if I had even said B-I-T-C-H, I would have been, I would have had my comeuppance pretty quickly. 
Um, but, uh, you know, sexual harassment and rape, the kind of stuff we're reading about in this LA Times article is so far beyond that. Uh, we need to also, on some level, remember that um, flirting and and sex uh, are wonderful things, and we don't want to get Puritan about this. This is the reaction to the dangers of sex historically has led to further repression of women and, and, and of their bodies, and that is not where we want this to go. The teaching lesson here, and it's, scary, it's intentious to talk about it, but the teaching lesson here is that aggression is never appropriate and uh, abuse of power is never appropriate as many, many uh, feminists, men and women, but mostly women have noted a lot of this is about the, the abuse of power. So please read this LA Times article and you'll once again realize hopefully that even though it's not a sexy thing, journalism is um, journalism is at the root of all this. Journalism is the act of sun, you know, exposing uh, shadows to sunshine and um, enlightenment, basically. And uh, we practice this at Elephant. We don't, um, we're, you know, we're independent, we're small, um, but we have we have done various stories along these lines over the years. And uh, it's a powerful, wonderful, even if it's painful, it's a wonderful time, this Me Too movement. And I hope it, uh, all our children in the future will be born into a world where abuse of power is not, um, there's no sense that you can get away with it. And I think that's the positive, wonderful thing about Twitter and Facebook and all these social mediums that in many ways are awful and invasions of privacy and warping our world and our elections. But this is one positive thing is that, you know, uh, a formerly uh, helpless young uh, person now feels empowered to take down uh, those with power just through allegations. And those still have to be proven or established. You know, if say 19 women have come forward as I think they have with Donald Trump um, at some point, uh, it seems, you know, it's important to it's important to find facts and not just have this be mob mentality. But um, anyway, the truth is winning out, and it's a wonderful uh, time, even if it's painful. It's like ripping off a, a scab, and it's, and actually now we can actually heal properly. So I don't know if anyone has questions or statements or wants to discuss anything. But I know it's painful, but uh, our community, which is 85% women um, and hopefully 15% wonderful men who believe in peace and kindness, um, you know, we should be able to talk about this. Uh, some wonderful comments from Hetty. Uh, I've, oh, Waylon, I've worked in so many industries. I've seen so many things worse. I know so many of these high level people through my business partners. I mean, for me, it's even scary talking about Russell because I know uh, some of his staff. I know him. He's incredibly rich and powerful. And, and as we've seen with Weinstein, they will bury you. They could sue me. They could sue Elephant just for discussing it, even though I've uh, and before I didn't have any facts. So I've really I've thought about him through this whole Me Too movement and explosion that again <clears throat> came out of this Harvey Weinstein story in the New Yorker and the New York Times. So let's remember support journalism. If you're moved by me too, please, and I'm not this is not a plug for elephant, support and subscribe to quality journalism. This is what will call the abuse of power to account. So whether it's the New York Times or the LA Times, which reported this story about Russell Simmons in the comments, uh, or Elephant or anyone um that you uh, respect as talking about facts and facts can disagree with me. Facts can disagree with you. We don't need to, please don't subscribe to partisan publications. The New York times and others can have partisan views, conservative and liberal in the op-ed page, but in the actual journalism needs to be facts. All right, back to Hetty. Those who have sold out want to break and make sure that others don't benefit and come out unscathed. There is a deeper culture of control and the taking um, Elizabeth, the brave comment, I was abused as a child by my stepfather and was told my brothers and mom would be hurt if I tell anyone. I am now 53. He has since passed away. Good for you. Speaking up, it is very scary. There's a culture of fear around here, and that fear is what journalism and what 
brave people like Elizabeth and this model and this Russell Simmons story can break through. Um, chastity, thank you for all that you do. The women of the world are so thankful for men like you. Um, I mean, I am, I am, it's not something to be proud of. It should just be the baseline for being human, but I am, you know, I have never sexually abused anyone through any kind of, um, aggression or power. And, and, and I have to say that, um, as I write about in my book, which is about the Buddhist notion of love is that, uh, you know, this again is the best thing in the world, sex, intimacy, love, connection, vulnerability, and you can only access the best thing. It's like an Indiana Jones thing. You can only access it by being kind. You can't even get love or intimacy or vulnerability through aggression or abuse of power. So these people are sad, but they're worse than sad because they're, they're exerting their, um, their cruelty uh, on others and, and possibly hurting those people for their entire lives. Um, Megan, thank you for getting on board. We need more men in this movement. Yeah, it's interesting. I've written about this a fair amount and it's been super welcomed sometimes and really shouted down other times. It's a very scary time to be a man. And uh, obviously all of us feel like, well, it should be, and we've got it coming. And historically, I would have to agree with that. Uh, Evelyn, thank you, Waylon. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well, Evelyn Rodriguez. Uh, secrets are dangerous. We must always speak our truth. Well, I agree, Lynn, but we also need to speak the truth, not just our truth. And journalism can take your truth and my truth and all our collective truths and search for the truth. So this is a real call. Journalism is one of the pillars of democracy and freedom and liberty and exposing uh, evil like this. And um, if you're concerned about President Trump, a sexual harasser, if not worse in the White House, now is the time to support journalism. And again, this is not a plug for Elephant. We do a lot of quality writing and cool stuff, but uh, we don't do a ton of journalism. So I really recommend you, you seek out your local or national great journalism and, and support them. Amy, um, truth will always reign. I believe in your approach to journalism. We do do some in journalism. We speak, respect your integrity. I would love to write for you. Please do uh, in the comments. Hopefully we can put, I'll just type it. Um, Amy Woolen, elephant journal.com slash submit. There's a link at the top of every single page of Elephant uh, to write. If any of you want to tell your stories. Uh, Jan, yeah, I really disagree. When you're around that guy, watch my video. He is probably the most ADHD person I've ever interviewed. And that is, um, I should uh, be careful about how I say that. I respect the ADHD community. My stepbrother was a part of it, but um, Russell is not, um, He's not present, is what I mean. Um, Erica, thank you for your voice, Will, and I agree with Megan. We need more men like you. Well, again, thank, it's thanks to my mom. Um, and then just a further reminder that anything that I or LA Times or anyone says about Russell Simmons, it still has to be established in a court of law. This, democracies are not mob rule. Um, that said, anyone who's been affected by him in these ways hopefully can feel the bravery to come forward through Twitter or Facebook or whatever. Um, Jill, well said, it's not a scary time to be a man if you're a good, honest man. It's, that's true, but it's, uh, it's incredibly heartbreaking. I guess, you know, that's what I feel. It's incredibly heartbreaking. It's also incredibly cheering to see these people and this culture exposed and hopefully changed. Um, Andra, I was scrolling and man, thank you so much. I'm still staying in. I was abused as well. Well, love to you, Andra. And thanks for speaking up even a little bit, you know, um, Jackie. Yeah, I, uh, I do a fair amount of laughing. I think if you watch my videos, but this subject is pretty intense, right? Um, yeah, as Rachel says, it's an odd feeling to be both heartbroken and inspired by all of these stories. We can't heal what we aren't aware of. And now we're painfully aware. Painfully aware. I mean, awareness is everything. And again, that comes back to journalism. So we do have a, 
uh, maybe we can uh, maybe we can put this in the comments. We do have a, a community. If you want to find your voice, as we say, find your voice, find your path, find your community. Elephant Academy is starting in the winter if you want to join and practice the art of journalism, practice the art of journalism ethics, practice the art of writing, practice the art of editing with fellow elephant readers and elephant editors and stars like I think Rachel Brayton, Yoga Girl, myself, uh, Danielle Rudolski, some others, Ada Calhoun, uh, New York Times viral author of some of the Modern Love articles. Um, you can join elephantjournal.com slash academy and I just put that in the comments. Yes, exactly, Megs. So please uh, subscribe to those publications um, where you are getting facts. She says, I miss the days when the news anchors shared the facts, not as slanted perspective, but as the facts, plain and simple. It was the longest video I've done to date before coffee, by the way, ever. It's a very boring record. Um, Stephanie, I, I personally really admire the New York Times. They'll criticize Obama. They'll criticize Trump. They'll compliment Trump if he does something mindful. They'll compliment Obama. They are just looking for facts, um, and that's what you need to look for. In the op-ed section, again, that's where the New York Times earns its reputation as liberal. Uh, but that's opinion, editorial. So the actual publication needs to be fact, factual. Yes, exactly, Perry. Thank you for making distinctions between writing, reporting, and journalism. It's very important. Tracy, Al Franken's kiss was written into a skit performed in front of an audience of onlookers, hardly an assault. The photograph of him not groping but barely tracing the outline of her Breasts on a bulletproof vest was also staged and taken in front of people. Not funny, but also not an assault. I really would like to see more people leave Al's poor comical taste out of the serious discussion as a known advocate for women in the Senate. We need his voice. That is, there are some good points in there. He has been an incredible advocate for women. Uh, what he did was in poor taste, if not worse, uh, but is not, an, it is not the same thing as... Um, you know, trying to get sexy time with a 14 year old or the kind of stuff. Read that Russell Simmons article. It's in the uh, comments, the Brett Ratner, Russell Simmons. It's not even close to that stuff. Um, Will Quackenbush is offended by me saying it's a scary time to be a man. Uh, I agree with everything you're saying, but we have to watch some what tone deaf statements like that. Truth is, it's a scary time to be feeling human. Yeah, I don't know what I said in context, but um, it's basically seeing that so many of your, um, you know, your community gender wise are, um, well, it seems like so many people are just incredibly cruel and selfish and cowardly and, you know, willing to uh, harm the lives of others. Um, whether they're other men or women, as we've seen with Kevin Spacey. So, yeah, I apologize if that's tone deaf, but it should be a scary time to be a man, frankly. So, uh, Patty, mainstream tends to make excuses for those that fit their own narratives. Um, Bobby uh, talking about jokes with the Me Too stuff. Yeah, I saw that meme, too, with... Um, Jim Hans, what's his last name? It's not Henson, uh, with his hand up Kermit. Yeah, I saw that too. Uh, Andrew, who knows? Uh, Taylor, we put a link about Russell Simmons uh, up above as well as my video interview with him, which is pretty interesting. Uh, Michelle, my daughter is a journalism major and questions the future of this industry as well as she should. I tell her to only cover the truth, no matter her choice of political sides. I tell her it's time for a forthcoming change in covering the truth, whether you like it or not. Yeah, we're always hiring Michelle, elephantjournal.com slash jobs, and we'd love to work with journalists. Um, it is a scary time to be a journalist, and that's why I really want to connect the dots. That this whole Harvey Weinstein Me Too thing started, not that it's a thing, the movement started because of exposing Harvey Weinstein through, you know, so much work, 10 years of work with The New Yorker, New York Times. So we really need to uh, support journalism to keep the, all those in power uh, held to account. Andrea, a man once asked me, how come that you as a woman do not speak up more for your rights in general, equal pay, equal rights? If I were a woman, I'd be stepping up to the microphone all the time. I feel that we women need to be more proactive than just reactive. Thank you, Waylon. Greetings from Europe. Uh, 
Well, thank you for your comment. And yeah, certainly uh, this is a generation that um, needs and requires women to step up and men to listen. Um, Anastasia, I agree, but an inch or a mile are different things. If you read that Russell Simmons article, you know, it's got awful. Don, stepping up only brings on victim blaming the reality of the truth. I've been victim. Sorry, the damn emoticons are in the way. I've been victim blamed and people wonder why women keep quiet. Yeah, no, there is a cultural reason why people keep quiet. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. I think we've got all the comments here. Um, thank you for your sincerity and your willingness to speak up. Well, thank you, everyone. And uh, it's an intense thing to talk about, but I, I do feel like we need to raise the bar here uh, collectively, and uh, it'll really only happen through us. And again, a plug not for um, Elephant, but to support fact-based journalism so that we can continue to bring these stories out responsibly. Um, and just a reminder, your daily reminder, that we have a sexual abuser, uh, allegedly, but, but almost certainly, in the White House.